Hello, in the last CL practice video I gave you homework. You needed to swap the colors in this image. At the same time, it was necessary to preserve all color transitions and gradients. You could only use CL grids. In this video, I will show you my version of edit. So let's begin. First, you need to select a comparison mode so that you can see where you need to go. The comparison is enabled by pressing C key. I position the pictures vertically by pressing the V key. To swap the colors in the image, I need to flip one of the CL grids horizontally. It would work perfectly if our primary colors of the image were located on opposite ends of the grid. But this is not my case, and you can be sure of this by opening the tab with the AB grid. The red-orange color is opposite the turquoise but the second half of the image has a blue tint. Therefore, I flip the bottom grid horizontally. And now I rotate the grid axes so that the colors in the picture become close to the final result. It looks good, but far from the ideal. I'll make the right half of the picture more saturated. To begin with, I fix the neutral points so that the boundary between the two halves would not spread. Now I make the shadows on the right a bit lighter and paint them in red. Like this. And I add yellow to the highlights. To see the result quality better, I will compare the red half of the original with what I got. I turn on the split comparison mode by pressing the X key and then turn on the vertical orientation by pressing the V key. Now before half is on the left, and after half is on the right. I see that my image needs to be made redder. I will do it on the top grid. Now I'm happy with everything, so let's compare the other blue halves. How to do it? You need to press the A key and swap the before-after views. Pay attention. Now the before is on the right and after is on the left. It is well noticeable that I will need to reduce the saturation, make the shadows darker, and shift the color towards the turquoise. I'll make the shadows darker and tune the color. Something like this. And I'll make the highlights a little lighter to increase the contrast. And I'll make them a little bluer. Done. Let's compare now before and after. So here's how this image was before, and there's the picture I got after. Let's now open the color wheel by pressing the F7 key and look at the color quality. This is the before and after. There are no sharp transitions or steps on the color wheel, so I will not get posterization. Let's do another version of the edit. I select version 2. I swap the grid horizontally. The main difference of this edit is that I will work in the YUV color model. Why YUV? If you open the AB grid, you can see that our colors lie almost on one line, so repainting will be easier. I rotate the grids. The result is slightly better than in the HSPE color space. I'll bring it to perfection. I'll make the shadows more intense and lighter here. Something like this. The highlights are right here. I add yellow and make them lighter to increase the contrast. I'll work with the other half now. I'll make it a bit more turquoise. Let's see where this color is now on the grid and where it should be moved. Saturation also needs to be reduced. Now I'll adjust the color. Highlights changed a little. I will make them blue. If you do not like how the border on the image is painted, then you can adjust it here. Done. Now let's compare the two versions. That's the version we got in the HSPE model, and here's the edit we got in the YUV model. Links to the presets are under the video on YouTube. You can download them, apply, and choose what you like best. Let's open the color wheel. Here is the YUV version, here is HSPE. Of course, you can do something like this by painting masks manually. But imagine that you have a video, and this means that your color gradients can move around the screen. 
They can stretch in different directions, shrink, twist, but thanks to the fact that LUT only works with color, it does not care where any color moved. It will in any case paint it. This is the great advantage of the LUT and the program that creates them. Use 3D LUT Creator and do not forget about it. See you in the new lesson. Bye!